What's up, chess amigos? Welcome back to the grind. Okay, we're playing as black today. Yay. E5. We'll just play our standard Karakon opening. Nothing fancy here. I'm slowly learning how to play the Karakon a little bit better. Just a little bit. The thing that I'm learning with the Karakon is that the goal is just... Someone correct me if I'm wrong, but the goal is just to develop king side as fast as possible. And I'm going to pan the knight, and um, I've been playing some blitz games with this idea to basically just take, uh, take the knight as fast as possible, and then just get the bishop and the knight out. Um, and I've been having like a varying degree of success with that. So I'm just going to keep playing that. Maybe d6 was a better square for the dark square bishop. But I think it's okay. My idea here is just to get the knight out as fast as possible. So I can just castle. And eventually... Yeah. I want to get uh, my knight out onto f5. That's kind of my big idea here. This is kind of the setup that I've been having good luck with. And then the knight can hop over here to c6 after the pawn takes. So the pawn structure is still good. So I like this so far. Now he wants to trade off. I kind of don't want to trade off. I'd rather be able to keep a bishop. So probably force back to like c5 or something. Hmm. Maybe I should trade off. I don't seem to have like a much better square. If I go c5, he just pushes his pawn up. And then uh, I guess I'm kind of forced back to b6, which isn't like a great spot. Hmm. Hmm. Could I wish I had to fall back to hmm, like a5 if he decides to take? I can take with the queen check and then win a knight that way. Hmm. I kind of like that idea. Yeah, check and take the knight. And then this pawn's under attack. Yeah, I don't think he'll be able to stop that, right? Probably try to kick his knight next. He found the idea. Okay. He did find the idea. It kind of breaks up his pawns. Hmm. C7 or B6? Kind of like B6 better. Yeah, I want to keep... I want to keep at least one bishop is the thing. So b6 or c7. I don't know how much it matters in the long run, but... I like c7 because it's a bit more centralized, ever so slightly. But then this diagonal seems pretty valuable too. Hmm. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. I don't know how much this matters. I think either one of them is perfectly fine, but... Yeah, if he trades, my queen comes out here. Which isn't like the end of the world. 
Hmm. I don't know how much this matters, but. I'm just going to play to keep the bishop and not have it traded off so fast. I'll probably try kicking his uh, knight next. I could always castle too. I know that was a lot of time spent on that move, but hmm. I don't know. It just seemed okay. Mm, this is fine. Okay, I'm probably going to look for the castle here. I just want to get it over with. Get it out of the way. I know I could probably kick his knight here at this point, but I think he's going to try to push this pawn. Oh, that's actually really bad. Ugh. That was a really good move by him. That's a really good move. How can I punish this? Man, that's a really good move. I totally failed to ignore that. Hmm. Maybe I should have just developed a knight there. Yeah, I to totally spaced on that move. Yeah, good move by the opponent. Good move. Well, I probably want to protect... Let's think. Probably want to protect... I really want to protect this, but do I want to? I don't want to block it in this way. Let's think. Hmm. C6 or D7? I'll play the central move. I think I can sort of make a comeback this way. I need to be kind of careful. My knights are more or less loose as soon as I move the queen. So it's something I'll have to keep in mind. Yeah, really nice find by him. This B7, A8 situation. Now, I'll be really shocked if he doesn't take that. I'm kind of scoping his pawn and his rook, so I don't feel like too bad about it. Also, I kind of just want to kick this uh, knight out of the way. I mean, I have some really nice squares available for my pieces next anyway, so. Uh, you know, he kind of wins a bishop here too if he pushes the pawn. If I run, he can take with the knight. And then, um, and then I don't have a way to protect. Yeah, so I kind of have to get the bishop out onto a better square. Yeah, if he pushes here, I'm kind of stuck. Well, the only move I'll have is like d8. I'm just going to kick the knight. I'm willing to bet he might go c7. I see. Mm, probably time to jump this piece to say something like F5. Oh, I just lose a knight this way. Ah, feels bad, feels bad, feels bad. Man, I'm just not finding the moves right now.
Oh, I hung this night. Man, I'm playing really bad. Hmm. I guess I just take his knight at this point, huh? I just kind of have to do that. Okay. Let me think here. If I go d8. Mm, no, I think this loses a rook no matter what. Okay, what to do, what to do. I could probably try to kick his bishop here at this point. Yeah, I want to get his bishop off this diagonal so I can bring the rook out. Or, so, excuse me, the, yeah, the rook out, yeah. Oh, man. Oh, boy. Um... I can take, he takes with the queen. Which is not the end of the world. Really want to trade off? Hmm. Don't really want to trade since I'm down a piece. I'd rather look for something. I do have like a mate in two. It's really risky. I think he's going to see it. That's the thing. I don't know. Should I just go for the risk? The maiden too? His, uh, his pawn is pinned here. So even if he attacks, I still take, you know, uh, oh no, wait. Duh. This just gets taken by the bishop. Never mind. I don't know. I just have to go for it and hope for the best. Now he sneakily gets his queen out. It's going to be quite the challenge. Not going to lie. I could try to protect this or run it back. I do like the, the pin here. Could just go protect it. Hmm. But I want to protect the rook too. I want to keep all these pieces connected. I don't want to lose the queen. I think he's going to try to start pushing his pawns and like use his queen to trade off or something. I see. I 
He's probably going to look for the Rook lineup, I'm guessing. The mood has shifted. I have to pressure his queen. I have to pressure his queen somehow. Yeah, maybe going after the pawn's not the big idea. The, the um, pawn's not really a big threat. I think he'll just protect. Maybe I should have went like f6 and then tried to attack the queen this way. Not too worried if he pushes. I can just guard it. Yeah, I kind of blew a move on this. Um... I'm just gonna go back here and try this again. If he comes in, I'm just gonna. If he comes in uh, with a B7, I'm just gonna block in. Yeah, I kind of blew a move. Kind of blew a move there earlier. So I think the problem with giving up the rook here is that um, I'm going to lose a queen to the pawn if he pushes up. That's kind of the big problem. So I feel like I kind of have to keep on harassing his queen, uh, as annoying as that is. Yeah, because he's eventually just going to win here. Yeah, I have to be able to snipe this pawn somehow. Mm -hmm. Really wants that, huh? Yeah, I'm just gonna lose if we trade if we trade queens off. I don't think there's gonna be any hope because he already, or he already has two, or I guess three kind of past pawns. So maybe I can cause some damage somewhere else. What can I do? Maybe I should have traded traded off earlier there. The thing is, I don't think he's going to be able to protect this pawn is a thing. Because his rooks can't really get behind it. So, I don't know. Maybe the trade is just worth it at this point. Hmm. He's got a nasty fork here next, too. Uh, it's a bit annoying, but I think I have to do it. I'll be sh shocked if he goes here. The D7. He actually goes for it. Hmm. Yeah. I guess I could get my king out at this point. I 
I think he's probably going to double up his rooks and just try to take that way. Yeah, that's what I'm expecting. He'll probably double up the rooks. Going to try to trade off here. So maybe just adding another attacker to e8 is the way to go. I think I have to keep... Or maybe I should have attacked this pawn with, uh, with the bishop, even though I can't really do that. Um... Okay, I see. Uh, so even this is rough because I'm going to be losing. Hmm. So boom, uh, boom, boom. Now let me think about this. Bishop b5, rook b8, takes, takes, takes. Guessing e1 next. I should have went for this pawn earlier somehow. I don't think I had the chance though because he had the rook on d1 there. Yeah. Yeah, so he's going to try to double up. So... Bring my king a little bit closer to the action. This is going to be really hard to win. He's playing really good. Oh, okay. Now this is just going to be like GGable. He's playing all on light squares. I can't attack. Yeah, rough. He'll take this pawn next. I just need to protect the pawn. Oh, he takes it either way. Oh, I guess that was kind of a waste, huh? Oh, wow. This is a very difficult game. Actually, if I take... Hmm. Even if I were to take here, oh man, that's rough, bro. Uh, let's see, I feel like I might have some kind of advantage here. Since his rooks are not connected. Let me think. If I go d4, take the pawn. He'll probably double up his rooks back on e7. So even if I take, I'm still just going to be out. I'm just going to be out of bishop. Hmm. Well, let's see at this point. I'm not protecting... I'm not protecting b8 which is the square he wants because even if i go d4 he's just going to push b8 i'm going to take he's going to take and then he'll just have a queen so yeah hmm. it's basically kind of lost at this point yeah he's just going to get a queen if i go d4 I think my only hope is like to push back, but then he'll just push with the pawn. And I'll have really nowhere to go again. If I go d4, he's getting a queen. Hmm. I guess if I had gotten my rook out onto like the C file or something, I could have potentially looked for just like a back rank mate. Yeah, this is the problem that I was hoping to avoid. 
Yeah, I think there was like a chance for a back rank made at some point. Hmm. I guess in this position I could have went. I could have went for the C file with the rook. No, but even then it just would have been mate after he gets a queen. Hmm. Maybe I should have ran my king back the other direction over here to like h7. It's pretty much lost, but I'm just going to play it out. I'll try to give him the satisfaction of checkmate here. I'd be shocked if he doesn't go for a rook b8 here. Yeah, I figure that. I think he just has mate, right? Doesn't he have mate on e8? It's crazy how this whole game came down to like not developing um the the knight out onto c6. <laughs> if that knight was there, he wouldn't have able, been able to launch his b7 uh, attack with the bishop. It's crazy how this game kind of funneled all from that. <laughs> mm, pretty sure he just wins here. I need to do a bit of a thorough game review on this one. Yeah, I can't attack his queen anyway either. Play for stalemate, I guess. I probably should have done that earlier, attacking his rook with the king. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> he can basically just sack his rook at this point. It'd still be totally fine. He chooses not to do that. Oh, what a sick fork. Ugh. Oh. Can't even pass through this way. Oh, feels bad. Can't even protect that. I think I should have sacked this rook there. That's just me. I mean, he basically has like three queens at this point. I'm just trying to put up a fight for stalemate. That, that's that's really all it comes down to. And he's really trying to like wipe me clean here. <laughs> oh wow.
No. Wonder. Let's have some fun, I guess. What a murder party. He's got a little bit of an advantage here, guys. <laughs> Let's see if he goes for another queen. <laughs> uh, oh, boy. Yeah, I mean, with this much ammo on the board, it's always stalemateable. So... I know it's really unlikely, but you just never know. I don't think he's going to stalemate, though. He seems like he's got the right ideas. But I guess we'll find out on this next move. I think he just has, like, rook mate, checkmate, right? Okay. Plus 25 points of material. Winnable. Do the game review. He played really well. What can I say? 86 versus 82. I mean, he played really good, so... What can I say? It was surprisingly, um... Surprisingly even. Honestly, I think it just fell apart with the one Bishop B7 move. I think if it wasn't for that, um, there would have still been, um... Some hope. But it basically just fell off after that. So, let's see here... Oh, develop. Sure. I don't really like developing the knight here because it can be kicked so easily. So it kind of gets it kind of gets forced like onto a bad square, right? Like it gets forced onto d7, which is kind of weird. Hmm. Maybe that is the play though. And then d4. Okay, and then e6. Okay. I see, I see. Okay, good to know. This is where my Karo Khan knowledge kind of falls apart. It looks like taking there was okay. Oh, sure, kicking the knight, right? Didn't even think about that. Capture back. This wins a tempo by threatening a bishop and forcing it away. Yeah, I was really hoping he would trade here. This is what I was expecting. Uh, check. Then what, knight c3? Oh, he can just fall back that way. Ah. I thought I was being so clever with that idea. Okay, a6. Just trying to kick the knight away. I see. Knight c3. Knight b6, yeah. I took too long to play our knight c6. Falling back was the idea. I was thinking going back to c7 was the idea. I'm just wondering what the engine thinks about uh, c7. c7 is okay, but it looks like, yeah, b6 was the better idea. Yeah, I really just didn't notice this. The whole game feels bad. Okay, c4. Taking is not the idea. Castle link. Hmm. I guess, yeah, taking this was the wrong idea because it opens up the hanging b7 uh, pawn. And I sort of had one move to notice that, but yeah, I just failed. Oh, well. Really? Sacking the bishop. Is this... Oh, right. So he's kind of forced to take, and then there's a fork here. Oh, wow. Oh, that is quite the string of moves. Oh, wow. I'm trying not to get into the habit of, like, sacking pieces, though. All right, so I could have saved a rook this way. Crazy. Oh, man. What a line, engine. Oh, wow. Crazy. Okay. 
yeah, these knights were just in really bad spots. Um, they were both pretty much hanging, and I really messed up when I when I dropped this knight here. I, I failed to recognize that this was under attack. How could I have saved this? Maybe like queen d8 or something? Hmm. Yeah, so what if I went queen d8? Doesn't that just protect both of these? Or that's really bad too. Queen on d6. Attacks. Hmm. I see. Yeah, so basically I had nowhere to run. So he takes here. I can't really take back because it loses a queen. So yeah, he's got me in a really good position here. What could I do here? Knight on c8. Which one? Attack that way. So essentially just go for the trade. And then he's going to run his bishop out. To what? e7? Ah, oh, yeah, finds the fork. <laughs> yeah, so I would say what happened here was my knights ended up in a really bad spot. Um, and I kind of hung, hung some pieces here as well. Hmm. This is a strong discovery in white winds material. Yeah. I'm really bad about noticing discovered attacks. Hmm. Moving to the open file. Interesting. This puts the bishop on a safer square. Even trade. So rook on the C file. Yeah, I made... I lost one move here. I think I had the right idea with trying to get the rook out to D6, but spending two moves to get the bishop out to F6 was just not the play. Fair trade. Hmm. I figured we would have just been in the same scenario if this had happened. Queen a4. Really? Rook c1? Oh, sure. That would have just been a uh, mate if he didn't move his rook. I see. Okay. Uh, should have went for the trade. Going for the pawn. Couldn't he just protect this, though? I guess, uh, couldn't he just protect with, like, b1? Rook a8. Ah, I see. So now he can't really get to this pawn. Oh. Uh, that makes sense. Then he can just attack this, right? Oh, and then he can just fall back. Oh, so I could have won this pawn. Oh. That way too. Okay, yeah, so lots of mistakes in this endgame. Yeah, I just couldn't. Uh, this is a big blunder here trying to protect this pawn, but obviously it was protected by the rook. So just really bad move there. I think I should have tried to rent, run my king onto the h uh, h7 square. But even then, he had so much firepower. I mean, he had two rooks on the seventh rank. And he had a pawn that was about to get past, so it was going to be pretty hard to get past this. But... Rook f7, yeah, that's a good move. King g8. Yeah, I made the mistake of not going this way. Hmm. Rook d7. Uh, which one? That one? H5. Yeah, it was basically over at this point. I, I don't think there was any chance of uh, coming back at this point. Why was this a mistake? Actually, let me just do the show lines. Okay. Yeah, it's basically GGable. But, uh, yeah, after this point, it was basically his game. 
Um, yeah, he had a chance to play an earlier mate. But um, yeah, I think the lesson for me here in this game is to just develop the pieces, then go for attacks. And then I may have gotten a little bit too excited with trading the bishops off, uh, or trading the, what was it, the light square bishop? Or no, the dark square bishop off. No, 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 the light square bishop off for his knight in the beginning of the game. Uh, maybe that was a little bit too premature. And then, um, yeah, just not getting the knights out onto good squares and then not noticing hanging pieces. That was kind of the the blunders this game. But yeah, he played really well, so what can I say? But uh, GG, Yarts. And uh, guys, thanks for watching and see you in the next game.